Might as well knock out a review if that's alright with you guys. If I could have only one knife forever, what knife would it be? And, uh, I don't know. That was a tough one. But, uh, but I've made a choice. Um, and let me tell you about it. My choice was this knife. This is the CRKT Razel SS7. Um, probably won't see too many other guys with this knife. I haven't found too many videos on this knife. Too many other people that own it, maybe they do, and they just haven't put out vids on it. Um, but, yeah. This is the knife that if I could only have one knife forever, it would be this one. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about this knife. Okay, we got the air conditioner shut off. This is the Razel SS7. It was designed by Graham Knives. And we went into collaboration with CRKT for a production model. Um, you can get a uh, Razel from Graham Knives, but they're a lot more expensive. Um, <laughs> what can I tell you about this knife? This knife is Fizz 9 CR18 MOV steel, um, which is a stainless steel, a lot like maybe a 440C steel. Um, it's probably the closest thing to compare it to. Um, it is 12.25 centimeters in length, total length. My talking points out here. My car to handles. It's a full tang knife that is 0.25 inches thick. It has a 7.25 inch cutting blade on the bottom, a 1.70 cutting blade for push cutting on the front, and a 3.7 top blade uh, with the VEF serrations. Um, it is chisel ground. It weighs let me think here, 13.8 ounces without the sheath and it comes with a Kydex sheath which is 4.9 ounces here's the sheath um, it has a multi carrying design on the sheath um, the belt clip comes off without removing your belt which I like um, some things I have heard about this sheath, this Kydex sheath um, some people don't like the retention of it. I don't have a big problem with it. Um, it is friction held. So if you do have a problem with that retention, um, I just borrowed one of my wife's little bungee hair bands. Put it over the bottle cap. Jar opener right there. Yep, it has one of those. And uh, it seems to hold it in with no issues. So even if it comes out, it's not going to come out any farther than the bungee. So you won't have to worry about losing it. So let's say you're running somewhere, it starts bouncing out, the bungee's just going to push it back down in. But anyway, more about the knife. It is called the Razel, and it's named the Razel because it's supposed to be a combination between a chisel and a razor, it's like a straight razor. Um, I really like this knife. Why do I like this knife? because it can do so many different things. Um, it's not the longest knife I own. It may not be the strongest knife I own. Um, but it's just, if I can only have one knife, this knife can do a lot. This All right, guys, I uh, lost a lot of footage. <laughs> um, I used my old camera um, because the camera I'm using now's battery was dead and there is a reason I replaced my old camera. But anyway, we were talking about this. Um, wow. Um, basically, I think what we lost was, uh, me talking about what it can do. So this knife is at home in so many different roles. It's at home out in the woods. It's at home in the kitchen, uh, processing food. You can process wood. You can use this out in the shop. You can scrape gaskets off an engine box with it. You can use it for carpentry. You can push cut with it. You can trim branches with it. You can process firewood with it. All of these things I'm gonna roll in later. I'll roll in video proof of it. Um, and you can use it. Some people wonder about the, uh, the fact that it's got kind of a full, 
a flat edge on the front. Um, how would it work in a tactical role? Um, it's got two points instead of just one, which is actually a, the front of that blade is really good for prying, as you can see it's quite thick. Get it in there kind of deep and pry with it. But anyway, um, so I think what I lost was uh, me proving that although it has a what appears to be a flat edge on it, it still is a good penetrator. Um, and what I was using was an old ham that had been sitting in the refrigerator too long and it's no longer worthy for eating. Alright, so just to show you the penetration of it, we got a ham that's supposed to be about the same as human flesh, human skin, same amount. So if you ever had to, and I hope you never do have to employ this in a tactical role for self-defense, um, how would it work? We'll just leave the plastic on there to simulate, I don't know, a small layer of clothing. Um, yep. Small stab. We got all that blade in that little small stab. I'm not stabbing hard at all. Um, I'm not going to the front of it. Once again, as you can see, it's going to have no issues going through flesh. And um, as I found out in my earlier one, it has kind of no issue going through bone as well. I don't know if we can demonstrate that again here or not. Sure, that's not a huge bone, but that was indeed a bone, um, which would simulate a finger bone, if nothing else. And wow, here's a bigger bone that we kind of sliced in half. Well, we'll go through it this way and see what happens. Didn't quite make it through it, so I'll employ a little more force. Yeah. Um, that's all bone right there. And yes, it just cleaved right through that bone. So once again, it shows you it would work well in the kitchen and also as a tactical blade if you had to employ it as such. Um, reverse grip feels really comfortable with this knife. Good for slashing. Yeah, you see that? How deep is that? On a slash, not full force at all. I heard us hit some bone in there. We didn't just hit bone, we went through bone. Holy crap! I was not really expecting that. We just split a bone right in half. Yeah. That's the uh, bone we just went through with absolutely no problem. Wow. Not the thickest bone ever, but that just went through bone like butter. I'm I'm even more impressed with this knife now because I have never done this before. Wow. So there you go. The CRKT Razzle SS7. My one knife, if I could only have one knife, is the knife I would take. Alright, so I hope you accept this as my uh, my video response, CA Weapons Guy, and um, to the rest of my viewers, um, I hope you enjoyed this little makeshift review. Um, I'm going to roll in some other footage of this knife doing work, so just to let you see that the claims that I've made about this knife are indeed legit. Well, one of the things I like about this knife is just it's just got the weight that you need for doing stuff like this for dealing with a tree.
is no joke. All right, so we just did some chopping there. Let's see how the blade retention is. Still razor sharp. And I will tell you, this is one of the easiest knives I own to sharpen. But uh, man, this thing takes an edge quick. And it keeps one, as we can tell, by what we just did. So we just went from chopping limbs off to cutting a piece of paper. Did a great job. If you haven't seen it before, you, oh my god, I just took this thing out of the sheath. The other two knives just fell down. Now, I don't know if they passed out out of fear, if they fell down laughing, but they just fell down. Booey. All right, see how we would do with some food prep. So again, we just got done chapping limbs off a tree. If I had a steadier hand, you'd probably get a lot thinner slices. I reckon that's a pretty thin slice. Still razor sharp. The garden hose, check out our vestorations. Gee, many Christmas. That wasn't even difficult. Push cut. Rope cutting. No effort at all. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, our Monkey Z signing out. Peace.